What is up, guys? Sam Dog, the infamous 253, coming at you guys. Finally back at home. Just got home from the game. So the Seahawks lose again to the Atlanta Falcons, 27-23. to Shout out to uh, Jazzy Jeff, Real Talk, and uh, shout out to Sleta. It was so great meeting Sleta today at the game. A hell of a game, you guys. And, uh, yep, so we're now 1-2, and, and the and the shit show, 2022 shit show continues for what is our season in rebuilding. Dallas, how you doing? Doing pretty good. Uh, that was a tough one, but uh, we showed a lot of we showed a lot of fight today. Yeah, we there was this, I was cr I could not believe it was as close as it was, but you know we were obviously knew that they were gonna unleash Cordero Patterson on us and freaking you know their running game. Their running game was just really gassing us out. Mariota still got his mobility, and obviously Mariota was the better quarterback. In the matchup, obviously. Granted, we did get a couple of turnovers off of him this year, but obviously, it just it just wasn't enough though. Too just Cordell Patterson. I knew they were gonna unleash him. They were gonna unleash the running back, and then freaking the rookie uh, Drake London killed us. Especially when we've played so light on that zone coverage, giving them that easy dump off touchdown earlier later in the game. Yeah, that one I think was a backbreaker, huh, but. The way we fought with them, you know, Gino did all right until pretty much just the red zone offense. We were how what we were how many for what on the red zone again? Uh, two for five. Yeah, two for five. I mean, we not getting a touchdown at the end of the first half. We should have really just used our timeout to get some time to, you know, throw some strikes to the end zone during that uh, last drive in the first half too. And then that that's pretty yeah. yeah yeah but we already know the defense is still having it has the same old woes again just not they're just struggling against the run and the zone coverage that leaving Kyle Pitts was killing us on some plays Drake London was killing us on plays and just leaving playing too too many yards off of tight ends and receivers they just had field oh, yeah. day. Patterson had a field day on us then so did the rest of the running game <sighs> and then the only bright spots I would say, Kenneth Walker had a couple of nice plays today on on the ground. Kenneth Walker showed a flash little touchdown. Metcalf had a nice touchdown. Metcalf had a nice touchdown. Will Disley on a on a play action. I mean, I'd still like the way we're utilizing the tight ends, but you know, we really don't really care who's starting at quarterback this year. It's just we're pretty much playing with two backups still, and the shit show just continues. Yeah, they're probably gonna have a, a lot of frustrating losses where um, you know they they could win, but yeah. ultimately they can't get it done. They just fall short. Another bright spot I would have to say I love I love seeing Kobe Bryant on that corner blitz getting that sack early in the game on the first sack of the game on Mariota when Kobe Bryant just just came flying like he was shot out of a cannon and just blasted Mariota. Tariq Wollen getting his first interception. I told him during the player interactions uh, that he had a hell of a block last week on that block field goal in San Francisco. Tariq Wollen, uh, it's cool to see that he's actually he's at least he's actually trying and make trying to make plays, but we got a lot to work on in the coverage and we got to change that system of not playing 3 to five, 5 to 10 yards off of those guys. I mean, the zone coverage that we run is just it's just not working. It's just we just got to freaking change to a better man coverage system in our defense just you that's pretty much what it is yeah anything else you want to add on to that uh no not really um the offense has got to start doing something uh, yeah i mean the offense it, it, it three points in the second half it's like three points in the second half against denver yeah just just like that. But, and then poof it's gone. Poof Poof it's gone and poof it's gone in the second half. It's just the pain is it's obviously there and you know, it just sucks. I mean, cause you know, Kenneth Walker had a couple of nice plays today and you know, DK had that like we said, DK had a nice touchdown and just we needed to start utilizing our tight ends more. Disley took a pop earlier on one of the catches that he had. It's just I like the way the offense was going in the first half, but you got to put up points in the second half. Our offense is just non-existent in the second half. 
And yeah, yep. The frustrating season continues. So, but yeah, props. Yeah, give gotta give Atlanta their props with the way that they busted out Cordell Patterson on us and Drake London and their and their running game just gassing out our defense today. So, the defensive woes are still there. But hey, this is what we have this year, and we're young. Let them let them grow. Let them learn, and we'll just have to hit on. We just got a lot to build on that defense, especially in the offseason and free agency and in the draft again. Just got to keep on rolling with what we got. And as fans, we're just along for the ride. Yeah. Yeah. But there's no sense of getting mad. But it was definitely fun being out there, seeing some of the guys out there. I talked with Cliff Averill again today. Got a picture with him. It was awesome meeting Sleeta when he came down with a Norcam down to the section. So meeting David in Atlanta. David from Atlanta, it was pretty cool talking to him, and you know, it's good sun, fun, fun day out in the sun. But obviously, we still got a long way to go, and let's just let's just roll with what, what we got. Just get through the season, and who knows, we may possibly if this shit if it keeps keeps going the way it is, we could probably have a good chance at the number one pick in the draft this year. Just saying. Oh, I, I don't think they're gonna be that bad. This is a game that. Uh, a game that was uh, winnable. I'm not sure how many more we have on our schedule that I talked about. Yeah, but Detroit, you know, I'd still, I, I could, I could possibly see us losing to Detroit next week. As much as I hate to say it, I could see us losing yeah. to Detroit next week because they actually score in the second half and whatnot, unlike us. <sighs> anyway, let's just keep going with it and <sighs> let's just let's just try to just get through it, guys. You know, we're all in this together and. You know, this is what we got to deal with. Life on the reset button still, and it continues. But still like to see the young guys trying to make some big plays and learn as they go and just hope hope that we can get better over time with it. Catch y'all later. If you ain't with it, you ain't infamous. As always, go Seahawks.